Now that Minecraft Live is only a historical event and 1.21 has been revealed, at least in part, we can safely and solidly say, Dan was right. But not so fast, it wasn't all just Dan doing the heavy lifting. There were some other leaks too. Sit back and buckle up because today we'll be driving past some new leaks, talking about some old ones, what they could mean, break them down, speculate, and oh boy, my personal favorite, we'll be leaving a like on this video too. <sighs> Today's gonna be great. There's only one spot, one quackingly adorable, perfect spot that I'd like to begin today's video in. Oh, the duck. Oh, the duck, it could have been, it could have been perfection. A little bit of a disclaimer with this quackingly beautiful feature, it wasn't really exactly necessarily a leak, more so just a lot of heavy speculation and really strangely specific hinting from the devs and Vu over at Mojang. The Minecraft Monthly that dropped a mere couple weeks before Minecraft Live had like a whole minute, minute and a half of its whole like duration here dedicated to a duck joke about ducks coming to the game, chickens are renamed to ducks and ducks and ducks and even more ducks. Fast forward a little bit of time and after Minecraft Live we were left saying, where is the duck or like something else that almost sounds like I'm saying something else if you, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Now for the leaks that we'll be talking about today, we're gonna follow a little bit of an interesting format. First we'll be introducing it like, voila, look at that, that's a duck for sure. After that we talk a little bit about what happened, what went wrong, or what maybe it could be because, well spoiler alert, but some of these leaks will be coming to the game, for sure. Hmm, so the duck. I don't think anything necessarily went wrong, I think we maybe just took Mojang's strange joke a little bit too far, or maybe it's the other way around, Mojang really focused in on ducks and then plot twist, not even a bird related thing like say, a seagull is introduced into Minecraft. So ducks, I think we can safely say 100% it's off the table. I mean I guess you never know, maybe they will plot twist and make me embarrassed in 3 months, but I guess we'll see that. Seagull, did somebody say seagulls? Okay, so this one, it's gonna take us off to a far distant land that to be honest we never really made it to. You see over here on the most beautiful, reliable Minecraft channel of all time, the mob vote week, uh, it's like a little bit of a hectic, busy, crazy week. I did the video like breaking the mob vote down, then I built the mobs, then I tested the mobs and everything like that and didn't really get a chance to talk about the leaks. The mob vote leaks kind of happened like smack dab in the middle of like the mobs being announced and that kind of really didn't want to ruin the hype if it was actually true. This one's tale begins right before the wonderful crab was revealed on the formerly blue and beautiful website known as Twitter.com. The day of the crab reveal, there was a leak on Twitter that said the mob vote was between the crab, the seagull, and... Well, I, I guess the third one isn't important. It's not important because I don't remember it, it's just... It's just not important, it's not relevant. Fast forward a little bit later to that day and the crab was revealed and everyone was like... The what? The seagull? The other thing that I'm remembering? This is gonna be the lamest mob vote ever. Kinda combine all of that with this whole boat theme and it really looked like that leaker was cooking. But plot twist, it was a scam. You see this leak, it all hinged on the Minecraft Live playlist and how allegedly there were some private videos and somehow somebody could see them, but it was just a little bit of quick inspect element work. Oh, and for those of you who maybe don't know what inspect element is, this pop-up overlay that's happening right now is essentially the equivalent of inspect element until, boom, the facade goes away and it's literally just some kind of green screen or something like that. Now so far today, lads and lassies, that's two out of two dead incorrect. I don't know about you, but that seems awfully negative for a video over here, so maybe let's flip it a little bit and get a little bit more positive. There is a legendarily correct leaker in the community. Or there was. Or should I say he's back? Maybe he's back. Dan Gioni. No oh boy. So if you saw this video that I dropped like way before Minecraft Live talking about these leaks and talking about how I solidly believe they were credible. Yeah, it turns out the leaks were actually pretty credible. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to Dan's former Twitter account, all that we're left with is basically some screenshots of the past. Now Dan had a string of straightforward leaks, but also a string of more cryptic leaks, beginning with its name. Dan Gioni. D Dan Gioni. Dan Gioni Dungeons. Dungeoni. Dan Gioni. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh -huh. 
you see it. Fast forward a little bit of time to Minecraft Live and plot twist. Minecraft 1.21 is kind of like a big dungeon update, or at least for now. We got this brand new structure called the Trial Chambers, and they literally mentioned at one point during the show that you're gonna take the dungeons and old structure and update them for Minecraft's 15th anniversary. Dangioni. It's a Dangioni update. At the time, this was a leak that went clean over my head, but it's fascinating. Also, the profile picture, Admiral Akbar. I remember dropping a video and seeing a lot of people say, Admiral Akbar, come on, man, it's a straightforward, like it's a trap. It's not a real leak. But what if this trap wasn't just a mere trap, and it was actually the trial chambers we met along the way? Now, technically speaking, out of the official leaks, like the straightforward tweets that Dan put out himself, only one out of the three tweets is actually confirmed. Of course, the famous one, this one right here, that seems to have got Dan caught. This is a very niche thing to predict, like auto-crafting. Like, that's it. This is a super niche thing to predict. For years and years, people have wanted auto-crafting, but it seemed like it would never make it into the game. Like, jump forward a little bit of time, this video drops, and sure enough, it's definitely coming to the game in so many different ways. So that's a pretty oddly specific call did moment. <laughs> How about this moment right here? This one really fascinates me. At first, one may say that, oh, the decorated pot came to Snapshot a little bit before Minecraft 1.21 was revealed, and when you put an item in the pot, hey, listen, listen. Yeah, 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 when you put an item in a pot, clearly there's a sound there. Taking, Taking them back to the original leak, we've got a sound emoji, we've got a box emoji. Sound chest, sound chest, sound box, sound storage. Oh, yeah, interesting. I don't think it's the decorated pot, though, because if it was the decorated pot, well, there's a pot emoji. It would just be sound pot. Hey, yo, 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 side note, what the? Oh, this is probably the mod. Never mind. When it comes to storage, so we've got in Minecraft for sure, we've got the tried and true, the classic, the chest and its variants. It's been there for a long time. Then we've got the decorated pot that'll be in 1.20.3, just in time for 1.21. And then potentially at 1.21, I still think the most credible guess is maybe something like this. Inside of the Wilder Wild mod, it's done beautifully. It's an old concept from 1.19. If we interact with this chest, it slowly opens up. It would make like a ton of vibrations. And we have like a short amount of time inside of the chest until it kicks me out. The chest slams and... I mean, listen to that. That's like Minecraft's most noisy chest. Slamming, slowly opening, everything like that. With a little bit more context of what 1.21 actually is, this chest, I feel like it could probably fit into the trial chambers. But if not, the ancient city. I mean, look, if the devs are already going to be spending some time under the ground inside of this update to update a structure, who's to say they can't do with the other structure, too? After all, it does feel like we have a lot of unfinished business here, doesn't it? Swapping out at least some of the chests inside of the ancient city for this more noisy vibration causing variant to the chest, well, that could be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Speaking of the ancient city, and that kind of segues us perfectly into the third leak, the most mysterious leak out of all of them. Ah, this leak right here, the hole. What in the world could this hole mean? Could it mean end update? Yeah, I don't know. Could it mean ancient city big frame portal gets like an actual something update? Yeah, I don't know. Could it mean sculpt jaw inside of the ancient city? Maybe. Those three theories were the main theories that I was thinking when I first saw the hole. With the context of the update, a whole massive end update? I... unlikely. I mean, I could totally see them updating some stuff in the end in this update. After all, the whole thing of dungeons being updated, first time, 15 years, blah, 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 that type of thing. Adventuring, tickering, a little bit of combat, yeah, all that stuff would fit perfectly into the end. Same with a potential brand new dimension. Instead, though, I kind of I like to lean towards my third theory with this one, which was the Skulk Jaw Block. If you didn't know, it's another old concept for 1.19, or maybe even before then. Never really made it into the game, though. Basically, it's like a trapped version of the Skulk Block, where you step on it, and then, oh no, it bites you, cause a little bit of damage, and maybe makes it a little bit of noise, too. Who knows? Maybe some kind of trapped Skulk version of the block could pop up in maybe a different structure that's in the Deep Dark, or even the Trial Chambers that's in the Deep Dark sometimes. But for Dan's final two leaks, the hole in the noise box, it seems like we're gonna have to do a little bit of waiting to see what Dan really meant by it. Just like how it went with Minecraft 1.20, the devs will be revealing more 1.21 features throughout the development cycle. So stay tuned and subscribe. Now where I'd like to wrap it up with Dan for today is, hey, hold on a minute. It's Dan G over 
for now. So I haven't been monitoring Dan's account day by day. I don't know exactly when this account was changed, but the bio has changed multiple times since Dan has left us. In fact, actually the bio has changed multiple times while Dan was doing his thing too. After this leak right here, the bio was changed to basically say like, it's a, it's a box. I wasn't able to find a screenshot like showcasing that or anything, but yeah, there was like a cryptic code that said it's not like anything else. The, there's no chest emoji. And so I had to use a toolbox or something like that. It's Dan G over for now. Haha. <laughs> I am not affiliated with other sources. Future leaks will be signed for authenticity. And then a paste bin link to a whole bunch of jumble of numbers. Oh boy, this is fascinating. And of course, if we take the word straight forward for what those words actually are, Dan will be back at some point. <laughs> and there'll be more leaks. Ayo, so this is me editors coming in here. I had actually made this video a hot minute ago. I mentioned it before, you might remember. I ended up dropping a video because 95% of this stuff is still very, very accurate and true. A further update on the Dan Gioni situation is the account is now removed off of Twitter. But who's to say that Dan Gioni won't ever come back in the future? Maybe in a different form on a different account. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Definitely super curious about that chest and hole leak though. Next leak of the day, it's over to a developer Twitter account, actually. Nenbon. If you were following all the hype and speculation before 1.21, this one, you remember it, it throws you back. Maybe you were hoping, dreaming of the desert update of your dreams because a sand layers back there. That's really, really weird. But about two months after this picture right here, speculation went crazy, Minecraft Live happened, and nothing. Now, Nenbon had cleared it up, like, pretty much right away. Day after that picture went out, that like, look, we're just testing things. It's nothing, it's nothing. So, again, I don't even know if you want to technically call that a leak or what. If Nenbon said it's not a leak, and, and I don't know. If they say it's not a leak, it's probably not a leak. Unless some of the other 1.21 features involve some kind of desert overhaul, kind of like how 1.20 surprised out of the cherry blossom bio. It seems like that whole desert sand thing really was what they said it was all along. Just a little bit of testing. Throwing it over to the Minecraft YouTube account. This next one is not so much a theory as it was a whole lot of speculation. Common theme inside of the Minecraft Live trailer was this explosion to weird floating islands with purple background oftentimes. Hmm, seems like an antenna. In hindsight, it does make a little bit of sense that they probably wouldn't give like an end update hint or information to Element Animations who makes this thing and isn't actually on the devs team. Now, on the flip side, though, just like with the desert update, you still never know. I don't think all hope is necessarily lost for end update related things inside of this update. After all, the original combat update, well, it was combat and it was the Elytra in the end. That whole leak from before, it could totally it almost symbolize this little block right here, too. I mean, kind of looks like that emoji, right? Also originating from the Minecraft Live trailer was a whole lot of deep, dark update speculation. They spent a good chunk of this trailer inside of the deep dark, showing off the warden all as spooky as terrifying, and then, yeah, sure enough, nothing involving the deep dark was announced at all. Just a structure, I guess, like, under the ground or whatever. A little bit of leaks, some wrong, some right, a little bit of speculation, most wrong, and... Minecraft's most beautiful mountain, oh my gosh. That thing is stunningly gorgeous. Look at that thing. So today at the end, the answer I'm looking from you here is Dan's other leaks. What do you think they mean? In Spicewood, it sounds like a code name for a new project. There was a new game. Is Spicewood a new type of wood? All of your beautiful takes, thoughts, and opinions as always, you drop them down below. I hope you enjoyed this video sincerely. I've been having a whole lot of fun with like Minecraft 1.21, these like leaky, newsy, speculating videos. So yeah, I just hope you guys have been enjoying them too. Thank you for watching. Until next time, it's been me, your green-haired lad. Check out the 1.21 playlist for a little bit more 1.21 stuff. Or this cool crafter video. Goodbye, everyone.